Okay, we're going to do a test on this uh, plasma cutter here. This comes from this company. So there is a code there to tell what the hell it is. So anyway, it's a CUT50P, whatever that is. All right, let's see what's in this box. As far as I got was this. So, so what the hell's in here? It's got a cable of some type. There you go. You got that kind of a plug? Okay. That will be a requirement. <laughs> That's a 220 plug, I'm assuming. I think my plug is bigger than that. Bigger? This is heavy, whatever's in this box. Let's take a look. It might be that size. It looks like a standard uh, 30 yeah. amp. Ugh. Yeah, that hit me. Let's put this on a tripod so we can see what we got here. This itself is pretty light. It's got like 12 pounds, 15 pounds? Something like that. Big power cable. And this should go to the front somewhere. Right here. Take these off, I guess. Put a gas line. Did you read the instructions? That's gonna go right there. What's a nut at? When, that that's a nut? No, oh, I thought that was a cover. Um, okay, that's actually like a spin that. on nut. That's a cover. It goes like that. Just really read the instructions. There we go. Okay. Fancy. Safety trigger. The ground. Stuff on tape. Oh, losing stuff everywhere. There's a hole. Oh, that's a clamp. A ground clamp. Oh, here's the other piece. It's in here somewhere. Just like that. It goes on there. Let's go a certain direction. Where's the hookup? Oh, it's got two, two plugs in it. Right there. Yep. What does this do? Put that about a third up. It's a good starting point. Looks like an amper down there. And yeah, no light on. Need air, yeah. Okay, that's a gas. And... So does it say anything about no gas? It doesn't say anything about no gas you need. I know we're going to need air. Hey, there's the instructions we can read. Look. Oh, there's it's your 110, 110 adapter. Okay, good. We can use that to 110. Well, I got a feeling we're going to need... Uh... Oh, we got a regulator. Okay, that means there's a gas bottle of some type. There's a regulator here. Well, we're not going to look up the instructions first, are we? No, oh, of course. Yes, we always do that. Require. Some assembly may be required on this. Just nice nice regulator. So are they going to run on compressed air? Cut mode. It's got to be compressed air. Okay, so they're calling that gas. Where's this going to? So you have two terminals on top of the, uh... There's an in. And this is the out. What were the other two for? You only need two in the middle. Yeah, uh, in and out. Yeah, see there's an air compressor. Right. In and out. And gas. 
which is air, which is gas. I'm going to give you one line for everything. So... we got a gauge that goes in here. They're showing... That, that must be some type of a solenoid so this, activated. So, so we're not using this part here. So we've got angles here, out here. And we got wires here. So this is going to be our gauge port right here. Wires. Yeah, we got wires here. Those aren't wires. We have wires there they are. What do you have wires for? Mm, or yeah, those are wires. What do you have wires for this for? Unless it's a mount. Unless it's a mount. Is this mount right here? That it? goes on there. Yeah, that's a holder. Okay. It goes under this nut right here. Mm -hmm. It goes under this nut. Okay. So I'm going to screw that nut. That goes right there. Figure out what direction you want to be. Okay. This goes on top. It probably should mount onto the machine somehow, right. but probably doesn't have any provision for it. Unless that's what these are. Yeah. That's what these are. Okay. So that's not wiring, that is for a mounting bracket. Okay. So that goes on there like that. Alright, so how do they have that in there? So we're gonna need Pointed some sealer. Downwards. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need some sealer for the threads. Here's the other two fittings we're gonna put into it. So we can either get some sealer or we can use the uh, Teflon. The Teflon tape crap they gave us. Okay, we'll get this first. Whichever you prefer. That's going to be what, like a 516 or a metric or universal, universal wrench there. Or universal pliers there. Is that a universal that's plier? A Gerber, that's a Gerber plier. Gerber plier? Yeah, Gerber. That's not part of the Tesla. No. But it, tell, it worked pretty good though so far. It did. Okay, if you put this flat, it doesn't wobble around so much. There you go. Uh, so you got a flat wash and a rock washer that they give you? Yep, yeah, well, just two flats. We got two in, and two the out. flat in the back. There's four flats. Yeah, four good. flats. So it's pro properly supported. There you go. Okay. Someone tried to lose the nut. <laughs> okay. I'm going to assume we should probably slide that over. The now, is there a height issue with that or not? No, it seems no, good. I tested we're good. it. We're good. I mean, I'm thinking it goes that way. It can go either way, doesn't matter. But that's a good way. Mounts it low so it doesn't get damaged. And this is just a water trap. And that's a regulator too. Okay. Okay, that goes right from here like that. Okay. I'll leave it loose for now. We gotta put the fittings in there. It's going to be for some kind of a gun holder, probably. Probably not for some screw. See those holes right there? Look at that. Do you think that might be what that's for? It might be. And you know what? We got these fancy that little... That probably fits right there. We got these fancy little screws right here. Look at that. Who needs instructions? We don't need no stinking instructions. We do need the screwdriver driver, though. <laughs> Then they're good. Oh, you're doing a Teflon. Okay. Where's your uh, screwdriver switch there? Close? Uh, right there behind you. Right there on that cart. So this is slotted, so you just slide it in. Pop. So you just slide it, so you just slide it in. Okay. So you can do that really easily. Okay. Okay. Okay, so there we got our 
little holder on there. You just got two screws into where you need to be. So that's going to probably go like that. That's pretty good. Keep the heat off so don't burn anything. Okay, this little adapter plug, which we have right here somewhere. Just for information, that's a 13. 13 metric. millimeter? Yeah. Metric fittings, huh? I've never seen metric fittings before. Okay. Tighten it up there now. So, and we got some Teflon on that to kind of... This is bent. Somebody bent this. Did you rip the plastic out really hard and do that, or did it kind of preform like that? <laughs> Are we doing 110? Well, I don't know if you have a plug, we got a 110. I have 220 over there. We, we got light duty, we're going to cut it off right, first, okay. so we don't, 110 should be fine. We're not doing it. Unless you're going probably a quarter inch or up, I don't think you need to have 220 on it. You wouldn't think it would really matter, no way. It's nice that it's all the same size. Okay, you gotta wrench it tight now. Uh huh. Looking good. Let's put that in there. Got our gauge right there. See everything. This is for water. This is the regulator adjustments here. You lift this up and you rotate this. And that locks it. So it doesn't feel like it's even hooked up. Huh? It doesn't feel like it's even doing anything. Uh, I think you got to push that, yeah. Let me see. There it goes. No, yeah, you got to push it down in there. No, push down locks it, but you have to get... You actually have to hit the diaphragm before it does anything. That's good. Yeah, it's a plastic nut. So yeah, when you get... To, that's going to be regulating right there. See, up here, there's nothing. It's just... Right. It's not doing anything. It's not the diaphragm. So I'm thinking we got a hose from here to here, and then this to the actual... Supply well, because they're saying it's going to the compressor. Well, where's the end? The end's on this side. So right. This goes to the air compressor. Right. And then this is our output going right. down to here. Right. So we're going to need a. Uh, we actually need to get this where it hooks into a regular quick disconnect bone. Yeah, that's what I have. So we're going to have to. I know they make a quick disconnect that has a small fitting on it, line fitting, but we obviously didn't get it in a kit. Well, actually, there's a couple. Of Okay. Yeah, they make an air oh, check. They the make fit. an air check that has a hose connected. Right, 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 right. So I've got someone uh, somewhere at the other shop. I got okay, one. Okay, let's cut this. And that's pretty Get loose. That pliers there. Look at your fancy ones. Your good ones. Mm -hmm. You're actually hose cutters. These are actually hose cutters. Jeez, you got all that fancy crap. Okay, so we'll take and, uh, here, put the clamp on there while you're doing it. Well, let me let me just size myself first. All okay, right. here's your two clamps. Okay. And this one too because it's straight. So we'll get a quarter head driver. Hey, don't break that tripod. <laughs> hey, Fred got me that free. Me and that, me and that tripod got acquired. We have a lot of years on that tripod. Fred got that at the veterans uh, junk shop. <laughs> I think it was like five dollars. <laughs> Best five dollars ever spent. <laughs> I think it's uh, the neck drivers over here. Here's two drivers to them back. Oh, okay. Oh, those Phillips. Jeez, there Phillips. You there you go. Okay. One tool for everything. Except for that, we need pliers for that. Okay. Make that bend natural this way. Okay. Yep. Well, you're not going to follow the original curves, are you? <laughs> Jeez. You know, I gotta do stuff correctly. I'm gonna try. We're gonna try. Well, there's the on off switch. Look at that. That's fancy. Okay. Are we in the five minute more than hookup deal here? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're in the 15 minute hookup deal? <laughs> well, this is out of box, too, so. Out of the box, no instructions. Well, we, look, we half ass looked at the instructions. We looked at a picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. All right. <laughs> Didn't even need that, really. All right. Okay. okay. So, so what I'm, are we going to do here? I'm not sure what we're going to do on this because 
somehow get air from your airline um, to this. So what do you got that you can do that with? Well, if you have another air oh. chuck and if you have a, a quarter inch fitting to a hose, we can do it with a double. We can make our own adapter. If, right. you, have, if you have any of that stuff floating around here, I think I'm I might sure have you do. Got somewhere in the plasma. building. I know I got stuff like that all over the place. It's just when you're looking for it, you can't find it. So basically, we have air chucks here, which are right here. So we just need to get an air chuck to a hose. Yeah, like this one right here. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got. Uh, so we just need to do that again on the other side. Let me see. So, well, you just have a fitting in here. Yeah. But this is not. That's too big for our hose. That's too big for our hose. Cause this would go. And that's a union. You'd have to have a union to. Yeah. Um. All right, we're gonna take a break and go look for some fittings. We'll be back. That doesn't look right. Okay, we're gonna use a remote air tank here. So it only needs 35 psi or common inlet, and and then it's a four and a half psi regularly inside the machine. It sounded like. Yeah, that's even a right size fitting. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So here's the screwdriver. Pull that one back off. We'll put this one on it. Shall we? We'll put the tank. Yeah. Put the tank right over there. So what kind of tank we're using here? All right. It's a pneumatic. Central pneumatic. Is that Home Depot? We got our old Home Depot Harbor cheese Freight. ball. Harbor Freight Whoever. cheese ball, but at the same time, that's what most people have. So right? this hose is in pretty bad condition. That's the good part of the hose. That's, that's the good part. That is some chinky hose there. No, no. That's that's quality. That's good quality. Sure. I'm not sure that blue one's very much better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That doesn't look much better. Oh, this is a lot saw harder. <laughs> that stuff's pretty uh, soft. <laughs> All right. And what's this take? 100 pounds, 120 in here, yeah, Max? Yeah, take 120 in there. So you put 100, 120 in that. You got a big air compressor, so let's there you do go. it that way. Okay, that, that answers that. Okay, so that's, you know, we have to Are we doing this. 110? We adjust this to 35 psi. I think it's kind of what the instructions are. Are we doing was. 110? Uh, for now, I think we just use 110. Yeah. Right. Here's where it talks about the requirements for the. Uh, Air. So somewhere I saw where it said something important. Oh, it was up here. Excuse me. So it's 35 psi, six cubic feet per minute of airflow, and four and a half psi, which I assume is regular inside the machine. Well, what's this gauge at? You read. What's this gauge rated at? What the hell kind of a gauge is this? I don't know what this gauge numbers are. Well, these must be in PSI. So these are two pounds. So we put this at four and a half. Yeah, I'm turning this valve off right now. Okay. Don't you think? No, I'm good. I'm going to regulate it. Once you adjust it, I'm going to regulate it. So, are you? Yeah. Well, I turned it off anyways, just to be safe. Okay. Four and a half is going to be straight up on this dial. So we're going to put a higher in here? Yeah, that's fine. What kind of a fancy thing is this? Snap on. Snap on. Blue point. Digital too, look at that. See how accurate it is. Dang, that's pretty accurate. 40.5. And that along right there. Mm. That's pretty accurate. I like this air shot. That's the quality of the stuff. Like that, huh? That's the quality of the stuff there. You gotta be holding it anymore. Yeah, this isn't that pinchy hose like no, the other no, stuff. No, that's real hose right there. <laughs> $10,000 the I was going to say, what are we rated at? 125, we're good. Uh, most tanks get to 120. Yeah, it's at 125. Whatever, I'm sure 100 pounds is funny. We'll do 100. Stop at 100? Yeah. Where's all the red start at? 115? Yeah. About 123 or so. Let's so we're at. Just a dock, we're at 100 right here. Right here. 100.21. It's losing, it's leaking already. 100.9. Exactly. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here. Turn my. We'll turn me on. on. Turn me on, boss. All right. It's coming. Oh, going on. 
It ain't coming yet. On is this way. Here we go. I don't know. It's gonna come. There you go. Keep going. All right. So we adjust okay, this. To, we adjust this to four and a half. Right there, and then you push that down. That locks it. So we have an air leak. This one here is leaking like a sieve. That one's good. That's good. Yeah, that's uh. I think we need a real hose clamp. Those five cent clamps are not helping us. Have you got a real clamp? Perfect. What do we, uh... That won't be a Phillips, so. <laughs> Good. Okay, let's go ahead and kill the valve, the pressure. Otherwise, we've got to listen to an air leak going while we're trying to figure out the machine. So, we already had a failure on the equipment now. The hose clamps suck. Okay, got that down. Hose clamps suck. Hose Got clamps it. suck. And you said it sucked when you're tightening it. It's, you know what? It does. It sucks. <laughs> Hose cap sucks. We're good. So far, that's the only failure so far, so that's a good sign. I knew it was cheap when it started going sideways. Yeah, I hope it, the hose isn't exactly high quality either, but... See if that works better. Well, I definitely feel some tension there. There we go. There it goes. Hey, the leak's gone. A little bit over four right. now. Where's the leak? Probably in the regulator. Maybe something. Small, whatever it is. I feel like it's coming from the regulator. Probably in the regulator itself. Yeah. I mean, that is 100 psi, so. It kind of sealed up. It's probably regular dry. It has to get custom that air pressure in it. Alright. Because now it's quit leaking now. Alright, so we regulate the right pressure? So we're at four and a half. That's what the instruction said. Okay. Not that I read more. No. I got a cord right here. Okay, so this here, I got two outlets. I can put it here or here. Like that. Let's see. All right, what are we going to cut on? Oh, we're going to find something to cut. We'll be back. We're doing 110, is that 